All right, guys. Since the V8 car is in the shop right now, getting the roll cage done, we're gonna start work on the rotary power car. And this video, like I said, we're gonna get the engine out, get the new engine in, fire it up, do some brake stuff, maybe take it for you know a quick spin around the block. So hang around. Okay, just like I said, we're gonna get the engine out of this thing, get the new engine in, and before this video ends, this car will run. So, um, let's get started. <laughs> First, I'm gonna show you kind of way it sounds spinning over. It's, it's just, yeah, it's bad. All right, real quick, just, you know, for, I guess, why not? We're gonna see if this thing will run. Uh, since I know it's, um, it's not going to. We're going to give it every shot that we can. And we're going to spray a little starting fluid inside of here. Since this pipe has got to come off anyway. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to use any of that, so we're not being very delicate. All right, where's the starting fluid at? I know I got it. Ooh, yeah. And starting fluid is a lot like money. You can never have too much. So, you know, you just want to... Let her eat. When it pours out, that's probably a good sign you got too much. <laughs> you know, you really want to get the start fluid inside of the throttle, but it's okay. We'll give it a shot. As this thing sounds like it has zero compression, it's not very helpful if this thing will start, but anyway. Didn't think so. That's kind of actual miles. <laughs> this thing's already blown up twice that I know of. <sighs> Come on, old girl, do something, pop. Starting to smell a lot of gas. Oh well. Wasn't very hopeful on that, on this thing actually running, but figured why not give it a shot. But, <sighs> Give a little story on this this guy right here, um, that wrecked FD that you see that in the earlier video that I took the scrapyard. I picked that car up just for parts to to uh, for the V8 car so I could get the dash and pedals and all that good stuff. Which if I'd have found that car sooner, that car probably the V8 car would be a rotary car. Um, like I said, the the V8 car like I said it was a burned out shell. And it was just gonna be way too much money to try to go back rotary. So, you know, why not LS? But anyway, yeah, if I'd have found that car, that wreck car sooner, um, I probably would have left the V8 car rotor, rotary powered. But anyway, so that motor that was in the wreck car ended up in this car. I bought this car with a seized engine uh, from a bad water seal, and they let it sit with water leaking into the motor, so that's never a good thing. Uh, so, I bought this car, the Montego car, blown up, and um, pulled the motor out of the wrecked car, wrecked car, geez, and put it in here. And it actually ran and drove for probably uh, 300 miles. And then I was just cruising down the highway and it, it died on me. So, um, here we are. The motor that, that was originally in here um, went to Angel Motorsports and they did a half bridge port uh on that engine for me um so and that's the one we're about to throw in here so enough of this stupid rambling <laughs> i'm not making much sense i'm going to pull this motor out and throw the other motor in so let's get started
All right, guys, taking this thing out the hard way. Um, pretty much just going to undress the keg itself and then just pull the keg out. No real reason behind it. Just uh, It's just the way I want to do it, I guess. <laughs> I got to pull all this stuff off anyway, so um, yeah. That's the game plan. I already got the radiator out. Um, got some of the, the turbo stuff off, upper intake. Um, basically just working on getting the rest of the accessory stuff off, getting the um, AC compressor off, power steering pump off, and uh, then I'll probably move to the turbos, get the lower intake, get the rat's nest out and everything, get the old harness and stuff out of the, the harness and ECU out of here, and uh, keep on moving on through like that. Got the fuel lines loose, need to unbolt the transmission. So it's not really that hard to get one of these things out. It's a bit of a headache with the FD just because stuff's a little, um, it's a little compact and everything. But yeah. All right, we'll get back at it real quick. All right, guys, uh, we got the engine out. Um, it's taking longer than I thought, like everything. <laughs> um, probably gonna call it a night. Might do like one or two more things. Probably not gonna record it, but um, let's check it out real quick. Got a mess, got parts laying everywhere. But try not to get in the light. But anyway, so we got the. Uh, Got the old engine out like tomorrow i'll probably do it tonight um take this upper intake and lower intake off take the the uh turbos off clean up out here get ready for tomorrow the game plan for tomorrow would be um to paint the intake because i probably use this intake for now uh paint it make some block off plates for all the egr stuff and everything um put the oil pan motor mounts on the other engine uh, turbo lower intake go ahead and throw that in the car get everything hooked up and uh, see if it's gonna run 
But I know I said earlier that by the end of the video we'd have it running. Um, I'm see how I'll start doing some editing, see how it all comes together. But this might be one video, and uh, if it is, this is going to be the end, and I'll see you on the next one. But it all depends. Like I said, I might just go ahead and try to make one longer video and go ahead and get it all said and done and get it running. So we'll see. But for now, I'm calling it a night, going in the house, and uh, we'll start back on this thing in the morning.